Hi and welcome to the third Wooly Goodies vlog. In this vlog I'll be showing you some of the Wooly stuff that I've bought over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I visited the Breidage, which uh, is Knitting Days, which is a knitting festival here in the Netherlands. Uh, so I visited the Breidage last weekend. Um, no, I actually went on a Friday. Um, so uh, just a couple of days ago uh, with my friend uh, Christina from A Spoonful of Yarn and I bought a lot of stuff <laughs> and I also have some lovely things to show you uh, which I got before that time and this video is just meant as a shout out to these wonderful makers and to showcase their beautiful products so the first thing that I want to show you is a project bag that I treated myself to um, a couple of weeks ago, um, I had actually ordered it to, um, uh, to celebrate that I went uh, full-time with my designing work. Uh, so I ordered this bag from Tien and Miep, um, which is a Dutch brand. Uh, Martin, or Martine, makes uh, beautiful bags, and, um, this is one of them. It's, a uh, it's a pretty big bag. Uh, it's a tote bag, pretty sturdy, um, really nice handles, and yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty big. And uh, you can, there's a drawstring here as well, so you can close it up like this. But I prefer to just uh, keep it open and carry it along like this. Um, so you can fit a lot of skeins in here. Um, it's big enough for a sweater project. Um, and I just love this fabric. It's so beautiful. And I think it's by Rifle Paper Company, although I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with this bag. Uh, I am actually using it, but I'm using it for a secret project, so that's why I took it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here's her logo. Dean and Mip. And she has some gorgeous bags on her website. Um, she has, this is, I think, one of the bigger bags. Um, and she has smaller bags as well, so yeah, check it out. Okay, and then, so this is uh, stuff that I got at the Breidage. Um, although this is not for me, it's for my mom. Uh, she uh, wants to make uh, the shawl Reverberate by Stephen West. Um, it's in his news book. And... Um, yeah, so she uh, needed three uh, skeins of 425 meters, and turns out that's pretty difficult to find. And also a skein of a Surrey um, mohair or Surrey alpaca. Yeah, so I got these. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. So I went to see Sylvia from Wolmat Verre at the Breidage and she always has just such beautiful colors and a whole range of colors uh, in various different bases. So this is her basic sock which is 420 meters per 100 grams. So it's just a tiny bit thicker than the yarn that was used in the pattern but um, yeah, I mean, it'll probably work. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just love these colors. I think these are all uh, one of a kind colorways because they're all called Verve Swerve. So I think they're one of a kinds. Uh, so this one is beige with uh, purple, pink, uh, speckles and orange and uh, a bit of gray as well um, and then the second one is more well it's very orange uh, brown orange color Ooh, with some blue I haven't seen that yet blue um, 
there's some blue in here as well so that will work uh, and then some pink as well so the trick with fades is to see that all skeins have kind of uh, the same colors uh, or speckles of the same color so uh, this one has the same pink that's used in this skein and so Sylvia was wonderful she helped me out with this and uh, as the dyer of course she knows which colors she used for which skeins and uh, yeah see she suggested these originally originally I had paired these together with a more pink one like pink well you know pink I love pink but then uh, see she suggested this one and I really like it and my mom likes it too <laughs> um, and then uh, we got this beautiful Suri silk cloud which is baby Suri and mulberry silk so yeah look at this this is just beautiful so I can't wait to uh, give these to my mom and I'll be showing you the progress although I'm not pushing my mom too hard I mean she um, she doesn't do a lot of knitting so um, so I'm not trying to push her so we'll see whenever we will see <laughs> and then um, I also got some goodies for myself um, there, there were a lot of indie dyers at uh, the Breidage, which I really, really love. Um, it was more indie dyed, less mass produced. So yeah, I think that was uh, really nice. Um, especially because I saw some dyers who I hadn't heard of yet. One of which is Iris from the Dutch Yarn Barn. And she does natural dyeing, and she also used some uh, Dutch uh, wool. I think don't think this one is Dutch wool. Um, let's see what this is. I can't see. <laughs> it's tweed yarn anyway. I think this one came from um, uh, from the UK, but she did have some uh, Dutch bases as well, which was really great. Um, and so this is a yellowish green um, base, uh, yarn and with a indigo mini uh, it's a sock set and I'm not sure if I will be making socks or gloves uh, we'll see but uh, I'm leaning towards gloves at the moment because I have so little gloves and I don't think any of them are hand knit so this has to happen yeah so this is a beautiful beautiful sock set and her uh, web shop is opening soon but at the moment you can uh, visit her Instagram page which is the Dutch yarn barn and then I went to Juffrouw Lantefant I'm not even gonna try to translate that into English it's miss something <laughs> Um, yeah, long of funds means like you're doing something really slowly, um, or maybe, maybe just like goofing around, long of funds. Yeah, I don't know, but it's a funny, a funny Dutch word. Uh, so Jeffrouw Lanzefant, who has a yarn store in Groningen, which is way up north in the Netherlands, and she sells a lot of hedgehog fibers, and this one... It just spoke to me it's beautiful it's like peacock colors but oh, it's just I love that rusty orange and then purple and then blue and pink yeah really really lovely uh, it's called a dragonfly and it's a uh, um, hedgehog sock which is 90% merino 10% nylon only 10% but um, I don't think I will be using it for socks I think I will be using it for a fade sweater I've been saving up a lot of fingering weight 
purple yarn and I think this will go perfectly with that. So we'll see. And I also got some minis um, of I think her own hand dyed. Oops. <laughs> there we are. Um, <laughs> so a lovely yellow one. I love yellow toes and heels on um, socks. And a glitter one. Let me just hold that properly for you. Can you see the glitter? Yeah, I really love this. So, uh, yeah, glitter toes or maybe glitter, uh, glitter stripes in socks. That will be really fun. So I'm looking forward to using those. Um, and then I went to, oh wait, I got another something at Hier Fräulein der Fant, which is this really cute stitch marker. It's a little bird. So cute. So yeah, I could not resist this. So cute. Um, then I went to the Eerste Keramiek Kamer which translates to the first uh, ceramic room. Um, and they have beautiful ceramic products, you guessed it. Uh, and she packaged it in lovely bags. <laughs> this one is a present and it's already wrapped, so I can't open it. Uh, but, so, the uh, Eerste Keramiek Kamer, I have been following them for such a long time um, on Etsy, obviously, their store, but uh, also on Davanda before that time. So, I think that was about like, seven years ago. Uh, I also had a Davanda store. Uh, Davanda is like the Etsy of... Uh, Germany back in the day and it's um, it's closed now everyone moved their shop to Etsy um, but before uh, there were a lot of uh, Dutch and German crafters and also Belgian crafters uh, having their shop at Davanda uh, and that's where I first came across their products which are just so cute I'll, I'll show you this one because the very first product of theirs that I saw was a uh, ring of a uh, ceramic bird, which is so cute. And this is not a ring, it's a needle minder. And you might say, what's a needle minder? So it's a magnet and it has another magnet at the back. And you can... Uh, attach it to your cross stitch product uh, project um, and it stays magnetic so you can you can place your needle on there while you search for the next color to use on your embroidery part and project or whatever um, or you could even use it as a brooch um, or I might use it for uh, stitch markers, something like that. Uh, but I just thought it was so cute and it reminded me of that very first project that I hearted on the Devonda website. So yeah, it's just uh, nostalgic. Uh, and this is a shawl pin. So I'll take it out. Oh. Here, I just see their picture. They also had wonderful um, yarn bowls. Really, really pretty. <laughs> I think it's glued on here. So pretty. So um, I also got one as a present for someone and they had beautiful silver uh, pins but for mine I think I'm gonna use uh, just a stick or something. So I'll have to uh, find a pretty stick <laughs> to use. 
But yeah, I just, I, I love it. And it had leaves, so I had to get it, obviously. And last but not least, I also got some cute ceramic buttons. So, so cute. I'm thinking of um, using them on a really fine knit cardigan with uh, pockets. And then um, sometimes you have these uh, cardigan pockets where um, they're attached or they're kind of like fastened with a button. And thinking of using these there or maybe on the sleeves. Um, I'm just trying to find of ways where I can just use two buttons. So I think that would be really, really cute. But yeah, I'm really happy with all of these purchases. So, so cute. And yeah, I'm happy to have found them um, in real life so I can really, you know, look at their products. And then I went to Wolzo Eilig, um, which means wool so honest, uh, but you know, it's, it's a Dutch pun, it's, it's not like a word pun, it's not really as fun when you translate it, but Wolzo Eilig. And we actually went there because Christina was looking for some uh, sweater yarn, but instead I got some sweater yarn. It just, uh, I felt like uh, I ended up buying all of the things on the Breidage. And at Wolzo Eerlijk, they had uh, Titus, or Titus, yarn by Ba Ram Yu. And it is so pretty and so, so soft. It has a bit of alpaca in here. It's 70% British wool and 30% British alpaca, and it's spun and dyed in Yorkshire. Um, and let me see, this 70% British wool is then 50% uh, Wensleydale and a Wensleydale long wool and 20% blue face luster. And it's so squishy. I wish you could feel this. It's really, really something. And uh, Barbara and you um, are celebrating their 10th birthday, so I got 10% off, which was really nice. Um, and I immediately, I immediately saw these together, these colors, minty green and kind of a rusty caramel. Oh, so beautiful. And then, yeah, mm-hmm, and then with my nail colors, <laughs> it's dark green, so yeah, I just love these together, and I immediately thought, sweater, color work, this is the main color, boom, I want this sweater right now. <laughs> even though I know it doesn't work that way. So I'll have to, you know, come up with the pattern first and knit it. So it will probably take 12 months uh, until I have this sweater, but I just want it right now. Yeah. She had a cardigan there, which only used three skeins. So I thought with color work and four skeins, uh, I would probably be on the safe side um, yeah, because I'm planning to do, like, not just a little bit of contrast, I'm planning to use most of these, of course, um, so hopefully that will work. Oh, I just, I just love, love, love these. And she has a web shop as well, so if you, uh, you can check, check out her Instagram, Wolzo Eilig, and I'll put her website here as well. Um, so if you want some beautiful yarns, uh, she has um, a gorgeous range of um, bio yarns, um, organic yarns, and yeah, just beautiful, beautiful yarns. Mmm, yeah, can't wait to knit with this, but for now, 
I must wait because I have a lot of things going on. Um, those were all the things, believe it or not, that I got at Breda. Um, and now I may not buy any more. Um, I'll be going to another knitting festival in uh, two weeks, uh, but yeah, I may not buy any more yarn. Um, especially because I have also ordered some yarn from Yawol Rotterdam. Uh, Yawol is a amazing yarn store. Um, they're, they're just just great. Um, the owner, Saskia, um, I think you've seen her on one of my vlogs. She was at um, Yarndale last year, uh, where she makes an appearance in my vlog, and then Edinburgh this year. Um, and she's just so fun, and um, yeah, just a great human being. Um, yeah, so, um, and Okay, what I wanted to say is that Saskia really um, talks about interesting topics within the knitting uh, industry and uh, especially as a yarn shop owner, she has some really, um, um, you know, good opinions or not good opinions, but ugh, like good things to say. Um, <laughs> uh, she, she has really a uh, valuable conversations on her Instagram, I feel like. I'm waffling on. Okay, so um, she was saying that um, with this trend of, you know, yarn festivals, fiber festivals everywhere, and she heard a lot of her customers say that um, they tend to buy a lot at craft fairs, and that leaves local yarn stores who are maybe not able to go to a craft festival because they don't want to leave their shop unattended or because craft fairs are generally expensive to um, vend at. Um, that leaves those yarn stores, you know, they um, don't receive as much income and um, because one, they don't vend at the festival, and two, because people buy so much at the festival that they then don't have, um, they don't want to spend more money at the local yarn store because they feel guilty or ashamed or whatever, or maybe they don't have any more money. So with that in mind, I uh, bought some stuff from Yawu, and I also, um, got some stuff for a giveaway that I'll be doing. So uh, you will have seen these goodies that I brought with me from Oslo. Um, this cute cat stitch marker, it's a cat in a teacup. And then this uh, mini skein, well not mini skein, it's a 50 gram skein by Pickles. Um, so both of these goodies are from Oslo. This is actually from Cross and Woods, um, who were vending at Oslo. So for giveaways, I tend to buy souvenirs uh, that I then give away on my Patreon page. But with uh, Saskia's words in mind, I thought, well, why don't I give it a little bit of a twist? And for my Patreon giveaway, I would then buy stuff from the local um, yard stores. And, you know, that um, makes me feel good, makes, uh, you know, it's better for the yard store. And you get to see some awesome Dutch um goodies. So one of the things that I bought at Jawohl is this skein of Rauwerk, uh, which is uh, I think German wool. Yes, 100% merino wool sourced and spun in Bavaria. I think that's Germany. Although I probably know it under a different name. Um, and it's dyed at Jawohl in their color. Um, I got a little card with my order. You can see it's their color. <laughs> so I thought this would be a really nice souvenir skein from Yawol. And then I got the Yawol Knitters Bullet Journal, which has dots 
uh, here and uh, which is meant as a kind of knitter's graph paper so you can uh, draw um, knitting graphs, knitting charts. So these will be going into the prize basket. And then a lip balm by Yabo and also some wool wash by Yabo. Um, I'm gonna just unpack this for you. So wool wash, it has Yabo's logo right here and also on the soap bar itself it's not really visible but yeah so this uh, so you can use just just a little bit of this dissolve it into water and then you can bathe your knits in there and it smells good it smells very citrusy so this wool wash, lip balm, hand eyed yarn, knitter's bullet journal will be going into the prize pack together with this pickles mini and this cute stitch marker. And of course then I also got some stuff for myself. <laughs> so um, I got three more colors of Alafaz Lopi, which I will be using for punch needle punch needling, needle punching, um, also a mustard color, and a beautiful olive, yeah, so I got those, and yeah, so if you want to enter a giveaway for these goodies, then uh, hop on over to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash newleafdesigns, and you can enter in my giveaway and um, so I'm not allowed to hold a giveaway only for patrons otherwise of course I would have done that um, to thank all of my patrons for their lovely sport uh, but what I am allowed to do is host a public giveaway on my patreon page so instead I'm doing that um, and I really hope that more people will uh, support their local yarn store. Um, you know, if they have the budget for it, I mean, um, yeah. But I just love uh, supporting independent designers, makers, um, yarn shop owners, um, business owners. Um, yeah, and I hope we can make them last because uh, I've seen many yarn shops close down over the years but also I've seen a lot of yarn shops open shops so yeah it's heartbreaking but also really positive at the same time and I just hope we can support them a little bit more so that's the reasoning behind this giveaway and I hope to be able to continue doing that for future giveaways um, yeah, so uh, those were all of my woolly goodies. If you want to see what I want to make with all of these, although I did mention it for most of them, uh, but if you want to see what I'm up to um, knitting and crochet wise and punch needle wise, uh, then um, keep an eye out for my next podcast episode. Alrighty, um, this is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always a huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!